Okay, thank you everyone for joining us today for the Future Directions for Undiagnosed Diseases Research, the UDN and Beyond Workshop. We're really hoping to have a lot of great discussion today from everyone, and you'll notice that our meeting is really set up with very brief presentations for the most part, so that most of the time can be really dedicated to hearing your thoughts and advice. And so we'd like to start off just by having everyone introduce ourselves. So if we could start off down at the end, uh, Hugo, if you could start us off with just your name, your affiliation, and if you're one of the UDN investigators, which site you're from. Hi, my name is Hugo Bellen. I'm from Baylor College of Medicine, and I'm the head of the Model Organism Screening Center. Paul Fisher, Stanford University, clinical site. Wendy Chung, Columbia University, panelist. I'm Steve Prescott, Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, a panelist, I guess. Dave Kohler from Oregon Health Science University, the co-PI of the Metabolomics Corps. Uh, David Adams, I'm a, a geneticist and pediatrician in the intramural program, and I'm interested in informatics and bioinformatics as well. Judith Hall, I'm a long-standing clinical pediatrician, um, both worked in the U.S. and in Canada. Donna Appel, hermansky pudlock Syndrome Network panelist. Vandana Shashi, I'm the uh, Duke of Clinical Site PI. Uh, Paul Melmire, I'm the Associate Director of Public Policy at the National Organization for Rare Disorders, and I'm on the panel this afternoon. John Mink, I'm a child neurologist from the University of Rochester, and I am an external advisor. Cindy Powell, clinical geneticist at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and I'm on a panelist. I'm uh, Jim Anderson. I work in the uh, office of the NIH director. Eric Green, Director of National Human Genome Research Institute. Bill Gall, I'm at the NIH UDP. Anastasia Wise, and I co-coordinate the Common Fund Working Group for the UDN with Dr. Gall. I'm Walter Korshetz. I'm a National Institute of Neurologic Disorders and Stroke. Irene Malmany, I'm at the University of Illinois in Chicago, and I'm a panelist. I'm Christine Ng from Baylor College of Medicine, and I'm PI of the Baylor Sequencing Corps. Um, I'm Sue Berry from the University of Minnesota. I'm a clinical geneticist, and I'm a panelist. There we go. Uh, I'm Darcy Kruger. I'm from Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I'm a child neurologist, and I'm a panelist today. I'm Rachel Ramoni. I'm from the UDN Coordinating Center. I'm Ronnie Cohn from the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, and I guess I'm a panelist, too. I'm Laura Mamunas, and I'm a member of the UDN working team. I'm Mary Perry from the Office of Strategic Coordination within the, within the Office of the Director of NIH. I'm the program leader for the uh, UDN. Rizwan Hamid. I'm from uh, Vanderbilt Clinical Site. Marin Schooner, I'm a clinical geneticist. I work at the VA in Los Angeles uh, and UCLA, and I'm an external scientific advisor. Hi, I'm Brendan Lee. I'm the PI of the Clinical Site Baylor College of Medicine. Eric Villain, PI of the uh, UCLA Clinical Site. Great. And can we have uh, Callum? I think we missed you going around. I apologize for arriving so late. Uh, Cal McRae, I'm a cardiologist and geneticist in Boston and clinical lead on the Harvard site. Great. And if we could have the program staff just stand up briefly and introduce yourself so that folks in the room know who you are as well. I'm John Malvahill, a medical genetics consultant to the extramural program of the Genome Institute. 
thanks everyone. So I have just a couple of brief housekeeping announcements. One, it seems like we can only have a couple of these mics on at once, so if you can make sure that you turn it off when you're not speaking, that way we can make sure that they'll work when people need to be able to comment. Two, if you haven't already set up transportation to be able to make it back to the airport, please see um, Sandra or Josh at the table and they can help with uh, arranging that for you. And if you do need any information about vouchers and reimbursement, they do have those forms available for you as well. And with that, I would like to start this off with some information and welcome from the co-chairs of our Common Fund Working Group for the UDN. And I will start with Eric Green, the director of NHGRI. 